The stage is set and the glittering prize awaits one of these two teams. But which one in the 2022 FIFA World Cup Final? Stay with us, we'll have all the action for you live on EA TV. Hello and welcome to a contest of colossal meaning. We find ourselves here just to the north of the Doha city centre, ahead of the 2022 World Cup Final. My name is Derek Ray, and with me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And as you can imagine on this occasion, the atmosphere is building up nicely. It's Portugal versus the Netherlands. Well, what an occasion for these two sets of players. A chance to be world champions. Let's hope the game matches the atmosphere. It should be an absolute cracker. I can't wait for this to start. Here's how it looks for Portugal. Bernardo Silva plays alongside Ruben Neves in the centre of midfield. And leading the line today is Cristiano Ronaldo. Here's the starting 11 for the Netherlands. Virgil van Dijk plays alongside Nathan Ake in central defence. And it's two strikers up front who look to provide the goal-scoring threat. And so the match is underway. Can he find the net? Well, just centimetres over the bar with that powerful shot. Well, the Netherlands were the nearly team in the 1970s. Runners-up in 74 and 78. Runners-up, it could be! And there it is! Living history! The opening goal of the 2022 World Cup Final! Incredible celebrations! moving again what sort of response will we see from them now Flint Fernandes and Portugal will get the throw in Joao Felix
2-0 now and back on the way. And they stopped them in their tracks. And he might be through here. Oh, marvellous goalkeeping. Well, it's a top-class save from a top-class goalkeeper. That's absolutely brilliant. He's driven in the corner. Not away completely. Well, he was keen to give that one a go. Sadly, lacking a bit of accuracy. And the press is on. Has eyes for goal. Well, that's a moment he'd like to airbrush from history. Not a good attempt. Well, lots of power, but no control whatsoever. That's a real waste. He'll take it away. He won the ball. Bruno Fernandes. Will it be? That ball was put into the right area, but no one able to capitalise. Dicing with a bit of danger here. Chance to finish. And a goal! What a magnificent display. It's such a one-sided contest here. Well, let's take another look. If you lose the ball in those areas, you're going to get punished. And that's exactly what happened there. On with the action then, and it's looking rather like a matter of how many for Portugal. And cleared away. Unable to keep the ball that time. And intercepted there. Joao Felix. And he's lost custody of the ball here. Can he finish this? A goal! How about that? He's put it away to make it a hat-trick. This is a very tidy finish, as you can see. He's under so much pressure, but his strength just allows him to hit through the ball cleanly. It's an excellent goal. Well, this is threatening to get out of hand. Just look at the scoreline. An incisive pass, being egged on by the crowd. Oh, burying them beneath an avalanche of goals. No let up here. My goodness, it's so one-sided. 5-0 in this match. Ronaldo. And a goal this time. Applying the finishing touch. Just what the doctor ordered. chance then for the respective managers to address their charges well they've got things going again here and I wonder what kind of second half we have in store for us can he do it well he 
they gave it quite the whack but not on target doesn't want to lose his cool here well the perfect tackle really and now a throw in A very effective challenge put in. And Cristiano Ronaldo waiting. Clattered away. Well, a good place to win it back. And let's see what it leads to. Well, he didn't miss by an awful lot. Well, those stats back up what we've been watching. It's been a really one-sided game. And it's far too easy for them to open up this defence. This could turn into a rout. The Netherlands get the throw in. Yuri and Timber. Now well, we're into the final half hour. The possession lost, intercepted. Textbook closing down, and now they're on the attack. Joao Felix. Gives it a go. Not out of the woods yet. And the corner's been given. Well, they've been getting the substitute ready and now they will make the personnel change. Can he deliver it with accuracy? Well, a bit short with the clearance. Nicely timed tackle. Well, we have 20 minutes left in this game. De Jong. Steven Bergwijn. Struggling to keep the ball. Felix. Keeper did his job to begin with. Well, good defending. Clattered out of there. And given away. Well, it could be on for him here. Oh, there it is! It's one goal after another, and it speaks to the quality of that performance. Well, two on one, the keeper has no chance here. As you can see, it's a well-taken goal in the end. If there were any lingering doubts about the outcome, surely they now have been removed. Ronaldo. And with that, the attack fizzles out. He's got to have a go here. Well, I must admit, it didn't trouble the keeper to the extent that I thought it might. Martin Deron. And Depay on the ball. Perfect tackle. The referee has decided that two additional minutes are in order. Bruno Fernandes. Now showing excellent vision. And now it's all over! We've witnessed history. Portugal have won the World Cup for the first time. Well, they've been kings of Europe. Now they're kings of the world. And I have to say, Derek, they fully deserved it. They were great today. Portugal, the world champions!
And this is finally Portugal's time. Fully deserved. Best team in the world. Well, you have to give credit to the coach. He's been excellent, but so too the players and these fans. It's absolutely magnificent for them.